You know, we understand very little about carcinoid tumors. We don't understand why of the billions of endocrine cells in our bodies, sometime in some rare person's life, one cell goes bad. Uh, and our feeling as a community of scientists is that we'll never really be able to attack a disease at its roots, at its cause, uh, without knowing what the pathways are that make these cells go bad in the first place. I think these cells are incredible cells. They're overall poorly understood, not only as tumors, but also as healthy cell types. There are quite a quite a diversity of these cells that scatter in the gut. Exactly what do they do? What's their normal function? How do they relate to health and disease? That basically attracts me greatly. I think they have, they're mysterious and beautiful cells that, uh, um, that we need to understand exactly what do they do. And that has to do with uh, a, uh, a scientific problem that has uh, plagued us as a community in this field uh, from the dawn of thinking about it. And that is we've never had a normal or even a, um, uh, an artificial model of the normal endocrine cell. So how can you ask what went wrong with this population unless you can find that population and ask what the normal cell might otherwise have done? My part of the project will be mostly focused on making the normal um, enteroendocrine cells and their precursors that supposedly many people believe give rise to these tumors. Now compare the normal cells versus the tumors to now fully understand the pathways, genes and factors that's now being dysregulated, apparently expressed or not expressed in the tumors as a way to deeply understand what is wrong with the tumors. And then we can take our knowledge to manipulate these pathways uh, to hopefully find new medicine to treat this cancer. Now for the first time we have these cells over here which come from Joe's laboratory. And what you can see here are these enteroendocrine cells uh, which are the, 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 the moral equivalent of these tumor cells, but in, uh, in our respective intestines in large numbers, but very difficult to purify and, and isolate until Joe developed this method. I think this is absolutely necessary for us to establish some basic understanding of what is wrong with this tumor. Why would you get the tumor? Or what is the vulnerability of these tumors that we can now develop effective drugs to treat them. So ultimately, we hope that at the end of this project, we can develop a far better understanding of these tumors compared to the healthy cells and now provide druggable targets to treat them. So that's, to me personally, just a journey that's, that's been extremely rewarding. Uh, to be at a part of this organization with the commitment of people, uh, the kind of people who give their time and their energy uh, to, to change the world in, in this little pocket of it. Uh, it's just been incredibly rewarding, gratifying. Uh, I, I sleep better at night knowing that people mobilize in this fashion uh, around a, a common cause.